Hey guys, welcome to Hold On To Your Butts episode number dos. Uh, we're so glad you guys came out to give us another chance. Today on the show, me and the boys talk about the Nintendo Switch, uh, which is launching this week. Now, spoiler alert, it's not getting great reviews, um, but we had a little bit of a chance to play it uh, after we recorded this show, and I gotta be honest with you, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I don't know if it's just the game I'm playing. We're, we've really just played Zelda up to this point, which is an amazing, amazing game. Uh, the hardware itself, though, feels great. Uh, really uh, good build quality. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really understand some of the negative reviews so far, but we'll have more hands-on impressions next week. Uh, elsewhere on the show today, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, VR and some awesome movies that we are looking forward to. And then on scenarios... I'm going to ask the boys to come up with a superhero by mixing Marvel Universe and DC Universe characters together. And then they're going to do battle here on the show and try to explain to me why their hero would kick the other superhero's ass. And let's see if Wyatt can't start to mount a comeback here uh, in the scenario section as Blev has already built a commanding one to nothing lead. All on today's hold on to your butts, sit back, crack open a beer, and enjoy. Unless you're at work. If you're at work, do not crack open a beer. That, that, that's a fireable offense. Uh, otherwise, enjoy. Hold on to your butts. Episode number two. Hold on to your butt. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hold On To Your Butts, episode two. We're so happy you gave us another chance, because frankly, we didn't think you would, uh, but I guess you're probably tuning in to see Wyatt lose in scenarios oh. again. So oh, shit! We're hoping that happens again. Dropping the bomb. Boom! Guys, let's just get right into it. Uh, any movies you're excited for or looking forward to? I and was up? not excited about it, but you're, like apparently Get Out is like... Badass. Hundred yeah. percent on Rotten Tomatoes, by the way. That's hundred uh, percent. Really? No joke. That was when I last saw it. it was last week. I didn't want to see it, but, but could everybody you please, Could you please visit Rotten Tomatoes and check that out for us? I'm gonna visit Rotten Tomatoes. Let you guys talk talk amongst yourselves for a second. Is that Jordan? Jordan Peele. Peele, I believe. Jordan Peele, right? I don't. Think so what? What have you heard about the movie so far, Wyatt? Uh, I really don't know anything about it. You really than... don't. <laughs> hey, by the way, this I'm movie very... I've heard but here's the thing. great reviews about it. I love 99%. dumb. I love dumb 99%. scary. I love dumb scary movies. Ninety nine percent now, and wow. apparently this movie is a dumb scary movie that's also funny. And I I've heard like that... hilariously scary mm. kind of, and uh, it's I, I, I heard say... the ending is pretty pretty interesting. Uh, and I love Cam Peel. By the way, I, I do have a friend that I work with who has, who's a movie critic, and he's with the critics of Columbus or something like that, some some group in Columbus. Let's interview him. And I would love to have him on here. It'd be great to have him on here to talk about movies in general. Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele's the, the directed, directed the movie Get Out, which is currently ninety nine percent to Kendall's point. What what number of reviews though? Give me one second. Because like usually it's like hey ninety nine percent but only three people no it. there's so a lot I bet more there's than way that, more man, I'm telling you there's a ton one hundred and forty eight reviews nice. nice that's good no but honestly he said that he went and saw the movie and he told me he's like I'm not gonna ruin it for you but I'm telling you it's so there's light parts in it that are funny but it's not solely funny comedic scary I, no, I don't think humor at all I don't all. think it's meant to be like but a it's comedy, it's more but of an funny. it's more of a, a mind twist and yeah. and a thriller in, in a way so it just it always keeps you on the end of your seat yeah. I wasn't intending to see it but I, I do that's I, from what I hear at work oh, af- my buddies after at work after we it. see Logan or before we should go see Get Out you know I heard uh, too uh, I think I read a review of Get Out where it said it's key and peel with the vault or the knob turned to horror so okay. if you ever watched key and peel uh, the TV series yes, on Comedy Central, the production value was outstanding. Like every yeah. episode was so good, and well, even their and skits so were well done. the way the way they were filmed too. Or yeah, was really they well. were so good. That show was amazing. So like, right. but it doesn't compare to Dave Chappelle. I'm sorry. I I'm gonna disagree with you. Oh. I love Dave Chappelle, but I think Kim Peele way better. So, but like, I totally trust these guys <sighs> for like a big budget, a big budget <laughs> never movie. Agree on it, never. Ever. 
<laughs> for like a big budget movie like this, though, I totally trust these guys, and I think they can. But it's totally only one. Her. It's not. It's not both. But Keanu yeah. did amazing as well. Everybody Keanu, was, yeah, with the cat. Yeah, I don't. I, Apparently, that was really good. as oh, well. Oh, it was really good. Let's yeah. go to Rotten Tomatoes for Keanu. And I don't see think if there this was ninety nine percent on yeah. Keanu, this but maybe I the think reviews were pretty. Look, high. Let's do this. Let's let's guess at what the percentage would be. I think it's a forty five. Ooh, I don't, wait, wait. Game. What is what does forty five mean? Like forty five. Forty five percent on Rotten Tomatoes for Keanu. Oh, I'm gonna go with sixty. For Keanu, wait, is yeah. this uh, Price is Right rules? Kendall, <laughs> can you look up Keanu? Kendall, look up Keanu. Keanu on... Rotten Tomatoes, please. Kendall's on it. Our technician, Kendall, is on Kendall, it. This the, is a real person. Wife. This, this is, is actually a real person, not we've a been, made up person. We've that been broke making on. up a lot of people on this. Show. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what was, what was your... Uh, I said I'm going to say for Keanu, I'm going to say uh, 78%. Oh, you that high, huh? What? 76%. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Price is right, Rose. I win, though. Jeez. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I say, you I was guys completely are the worst. Right. One Wyatt. dollar. Now, now I'm going to have more confidence in things you oh, say. Because <laughs> I know the Rotten Tomato scores. Uh, that's my it. expertise. Dang, our volumes are... Very We're peaking We're real peaking. hard. We're sorry about that, folks. We are, we are We're peaking. Passionate. We are peaking. I'm very sorry. We need to get these volumes lower. Okay. Uh, any other movies you guys are looking forward to? Kendall, I know you had mentioned a movie. What was the movie you're looking forward to? Life. Say it louder. Life. For our home studio audience, Life. Life. Uh, life. Dude, that movie I don't know anything about this, this world. movie. What is this movie? What is this? Out of this world. Uh, all I know is... So basically, to, to me... To me I'll, inter- I'll interject here. Sorry, Wyatt. All right. And then you can follow. Uh, but basically, what I think it is, is that it's it's sort of like Alien in a way. It sort of is. No, because they do, they go they go out in search of a new planet to live on, and they find something they don't want to find. No, that's not, I don't think that's what it like, is at yes, all. Yes, it is. It's exactly like that. No, I think they're on a space station. They find some microbes that they believe is life, and then it infects the crew, kind of like a 2001 Space Odyssey, kind of on the... Look at the I think it's a monster. It's a, it's Kendall's a gonna, monster? Kendall's going to look up the synopsis. Yeah, I'm right. telling you. Apparently, neither of us really neither. know specifically. I just said it's an alien. Alien? It's reference to alien uh, almost. It's life is an alien on... I, I didn't say it wasn't Dude, an I'm alien. I'm telling you, it's like a species. They, they, they go to find a planet to live on. And they and they come back with this. They go, they to, go space. to a planet. I swear they do. I honestly believe they do. All right, I got Kendall here. She's going to give us the official synopsis uh, for right. life. Can she? Can she do this? Life tells the story of a six-member crew of the International Space Station, space Station. that is on the cutting edge of one of the most important you discoveries right. in human history. The yeah, first evidence of extraterrestrial life on Mars, <laughs> as the crew begins to conduct research, their methods end up having unintended consequences, and the life form oh. proves more intelligent than anyone ever expected. That sounds exactly like a summary for a movie. <laughs> Very vague. But it was on a space station, they just find life. That's wow. all it is. And it's microbes, and then they, I think they, they may basically go like zombie It dude. sounds a lot like Alien. <laughs> it does! <laughs> I have to admit, it sounds a lot That's like Alien. You're agreeing it too. You're agreeing with Blev on this. I'm, okay, I'm sorry. Compl- don't make me pick sides, guys. <laughs> I was completely <laughs> off base with sides. the the planet thing, you know. But I honestly believe it's like a microorganism. So it's like the whole alien thing. Can I can I say one thing about uh, Ryan Reynolds though? Because where does origin- that come from? He's in the movie. He's in the movie. Yeah, Are you for sure. And originally, I I really did not like Ryan Reynolds. I thought he was never going to get out of that like. Uh, funny, funny boy face. The funny boy is like uh, the movie Waiting. I thought he was never going to be doing anything other than something like that. What's that? And then he did Buried, and he blew my mind away. And then he did Buried Deadpool. was so good. I've, I've never seen. Buried. You've never seen it's Buried on oh, right now. You got to check it out. It will ruin your life. You got to check it out. My sister told me it was the worst thing she ever watched because so. it is so scary. Oh, and it's a scary movie. It's about Ryan Reynolds is buried alive in a box. The entire movie's in a box. Yeah. It took two weeks to film, and he took a pay cut because he loved it so much. Holy shit. It is so I don't good. like scary movies. I'm going to be honest. It's just care. him. He's buried alive, and he's it's buried alive. In a That's box. like a fear. Can it's we? Super, hold on. Exactly. Hold it's like on. Jaws. You're scared you of the water. You can say I'm scared of scary movies. Wait a second. Wait a second. Don't let's even let's dig that. into this. Let's no, dig into this for not. one second. Blev, are you scared of scary movies? I'm not scared. I've seen scary movies. Oh, you are a wussy. I'm not a wussy. Paranormal activity. I went to go see that in theaters. But I <laughs> did. Your, Kendall, your... my wife is looking at me right now with judgmental eyes. Is there something you want to say, Kendall? You're so terrible. Ah, oh, yes, that's, that's, not, that's not true. <laughs> the truth <laughs> comes out. It's not true. He 
be so terrified of scary Dude, I, I, I hate scary movies, but I, I love, love them. them. My girlfriend I hate him, but hates I love watching them. them with me because that's all I want to watch. So I actually enjoy scary movies. Yeah, I like being I enjoy, scared. I do too, but I just hate it. I hate it, but I love it. Here's I the best. I think Brogan cried during the. <laughs> oh, oh shit! The Conjuring was I terrifying. I did not cry. I just think it's especially terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I but think. here's the thing with scary movies: you get one of two things. Oh, Either you shit. get a good scary movie that really is entertaining, or you get a shitty scary movie which is also entertaining. And I think it's just a win-win situation. Like Zombievers? Yeah, Zombievers. Zom, if you have not... By the way, guys, one of the things that we want to start Academy doing here... Academy Award. One of the things Zom we want to start doing here on the podcast is recommending like streamable, <laughs> the path. streamable movies that are off the beaten path that you guys can check out. There is nothing I can recommend more than Zombievers. It is Sharknado. I mean, these Sharknado. are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What's, that, what's, that, what's the one that has the, the piranhas in the water? What's that called? I think it's called... Piranha. I think it's Piranha. I think it's Piranha? called Piranha. Yeah, huh? but Zombievers, starring Zombies. John Mayer, is a <laughs> fantastic. He's in it though. He's definitely John in it. Mayer. John Mayer is actually in the movie. Yes, oh. John Mayer is in the movie. It's it's fantastic. It's actually really stupid. I'm not sure if it's on Netflix. To be honest, it was. but it's yeah, it, it is worth watching for sure. It is super so it's super buried stupid. on Netflix. If you guys have not seen that, definitely make sure it is going to change your life because if you did not like Ryan Reynolds before, you will. I um, love him after that because he was just so amazing in it. Cool. So, guys, I want to talk a little bit about the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch comes out this Friday, and Friday. It you got is, it. Do you got it? Are you? Got I it? have it pre-ordered. You pre-ordered. I do you have it pre-ordered, man. So, okay. So, Damn. Kendall and I both are big Nintendo fans. Kendall especially, and any game that or system that I can get that, you know, she's interested she's, in playing She's with all right me. with you getting it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That she's, like, down to split she's or She's like, or all whatever. right, Brogan, you can have this. So, so we're getting the Switch on Friday, but it is getting really bad reviews. Oh, is it? It's getting you really bad reviews. You said something last week about that. Uh, Okay, hold on, Zach. Okay. One second. Uh, it's getting... So IGN <laughs> gave it a 6.7 okay. out of 10. And uh, Wired gave it a five out of ten, and the reasons Kendall's that they're giving, she wanted to know why. Right why away. she we wants wasted blood. money on that? Why did they do that? I'm gonna kill you. Kendall wants blood right away. Now, Where look, I am not. I'm not gonna give up on the system at this point. But I will say that apparently the reviews that are coming out are saying that it has attempted to do a lot of things. And, and it didn't, it didn't well. deliver perfectly on any of those things. <laughs> so what it's saying is, okay, we're going to be a system that allows you to be a mobile system, a system that allows you to uh, undock it and take it with you on the go if you're traveling on the plane or if you're in a road trip or, or, or whatever you're doing. You're going to take the system with you and have it be like a really um, – you know, Decent, juiced up yeah. mobile system, Device, uh, juiced yeah. up PS Vita or uh, Nintendo DS or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. And apparently that system delivers really well. The 720p screen that comes with the Nintendo Switch is what fantastic. What's the 720? Seven, what did you say? She said 720p. It's 720p right? screen, which okay. is fantastic for, for f- you know, a, a mobile screen. But the issue is it's a two-hour battery life. A two-hour battery life when it's unplugged, which is like a super bummer. Is it really? And if you're creating a mobile device that's meant to be used on the go, the issue is that device should be able to fit in your pocket or compare to your iPhone or, or anything like that. It's not. It's too large to fit in your pocket. Maybe you can fit it in a work bag or a book bag or whatever it might be. But at that point, how does it differ than a laptop but or a gaming gonna, computer? Then you're just going to complain if it could. You're just going to be like, well, then it's too small and I just bought What's it. The, I why, did, why don't they just make something for the iPhone or the yeah, Android it's just, phone? Why, it's just right. now it's not on my phone. So it's not good enough. No, but I honestly everything. believe that Like, I wish they pushed the envelope on that. And we're not harming anything. I don't know what that was, but that was interesting. Uh, that noise. But uh, so the other <laughs> issue, the other issue with the Nintendo Switch is that when it's docked, when it's actually a console system, it's not performing as expected. Unfortunately, okay. it's not performing the way that it should be performing. It is um, apparently there are two things that connect, uh, two apparatuses that connect to the side of the Switch called Joy-Cons, which are essentially your controllers. So the left Joy-Cons. Joy-Con is your left <laughs> D-pad and your left control stick and the right Joy-Pad 
or Joy-Con is your uh, right <laughs> joystick and your face button. Leave it to Nintendo to come up with great names. Weird ass It's a name. fantastic Joy-Con? name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like your Dead Lantern we- reference. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, tell in the future. <laughs> that hasn't happened yet. Uh, so <laughs> oh, shit. Editing magic. Edit that editing part magic. out. <laughs> um, I thought this was going to be.